Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. We are now going to use a cavity liner of copolite on the dentin walls and on the enamel walls to give adequate protection from the zinc filament that we are going to apply and to the silver amalgam filling that we placed after that. Again, as we mentioned before, what we will attempt to do is to put a primary consistency cement around the carious area and then the secondary consistency in the depth of the former decay. Now the instrumentation for the application of your cement base is the use of a cow horn explorer or a spoon excavator depending on the size of the carious area. In this particular case I will be using a cow horn explorer to apply my primary consistency into the retentive point at the occlusal, retentive point at the cervical, and around the former carious area. Our primary consistency has been placed using a Wesco plastic instrument. We will place in a small amount trying to confine it to the decayed area without getting it for the rest of the cavity preparation if we can. The smaller the cavity preparation, the more difficult, of course, it will be for you to get the cement into it. cement that is around can be gently flicked out. One must be very careful not to get the cement into the retentive groove created for the amalgam, for then it will decrease the amount of retention we have, and we would have to then go back with the cutting burrs. And if cement base is prepared properly, and the manipulation, the placement is done properly, one should not have to go back and recut the cavity preparation. The Wesco acts as a burnishing instrument Smooth off the cement. And now we have restored the decayed area in this cavity preparation back to normal form with a zinc phosphate cement that has been placed over the top of a copolite liner. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.